the James Webb Telescope Disproves the Big Bang Theory In August 2022, the Institute of Arts and Ideas released an article claiming that the results of the James Webb Telescope, which studies distant galaxies, have disproved the Big Bang Theory. The authors of the article, citing the scientific community's dissatisfaction with the standard model of the universe's origin, who said, It's 3 a.m. and I can't sleep, wondering if everything I've done was wrong. The article develops the idea that astrophysicists are panicking due to the theory's inaccuracy after the publication of data obtained from the telescope. So, what happened in the scientific community? And could the work of the JWST destroy Einstein's theories? The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted scientific model of the origin of the universe, which suggests that the universe began from a giant explosion or singularity about 14 billion years ago. Along with this theory is the hot Big Bang Theory, which posits the existence of particles in a state of heated plasma. Cosmologists believe that since then, the universe has been expanding, cooling, and evolving. The idea of the theory was proposed in the 19th century, but for decades it was not taken seriously. In the 1920s, thanks to the work of astronomers Edwin Hubble and Milton Humison, the idea of the Big Bang received scientific confirmation. Through observations of the night sky and mathematical calculations, they discovered that galaxies in our universe are moving away from each other, which gave rise to the hypothesis that they were once located somewhere in the same point. The theory of galactic evolution examines the matter that spread after the Big Bang. It is a concept of development that describes how clusters of celestial bodies are formed and change over time. It asserts that galaxies emerged from dense clusters of gas, dust, and stars in the early stages of the universe. And over time, these cosmic clouds began to form more complex structures. After Hubble and Humison, numerous studies and observations have been conducted to confirm the realism of the Big Bang Theory. One of the key pieces of evidence is the analysis of cosmic radiation. It was discovered in 1964 by American astronomers who were actually searching for a different signal, radio waves. The study of cosmic radiation, which is distributed in all directions and is noticeable from any angle of observation, made it possible to more accurately determine the time of the universe's origin. Observations of the expansion of the universe are still ongoing. Modern astronomers have discovered that galaxies are moving away from each other with a speed that depends on their distance from each other. This indicates that our universe continues to expand. The launch of orbital telescopes has allowed for a more detailed study of both phenomena, the movement of galaxies and the properties of cosmic radiation. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is expected to confirm or refute the Big Bang Theory, allows for high-quality imaging of space with a revolutionary level of detail, as well as the study of infrared radiation from objects. It can provide data for analysis by observing distant galaxies and stars in the early stages of the universe, and studying closer objects to determine how they evolved. The JWST records cosmic background radiation and searches for evidence of the early stages of the universe's formation. Such data will allow us to understand how galaxies evolved, thus proving or disproving the Big Bang Theory. The vast majority of scientists do not doubt it. However, they are still researching some questions and uncertainties related to the popular theory. In turn, these searches lead to scientific disputes and discussions. Alternative theories have been formed to explain various astronomical observations that do not fully correspond to the theory of the Big Bang. For example, one of such ideas is the theory of the steady-state universe. It suggests that the cosmic space has no beginning or end, and that matter continuously appears in space in accordance with the laws of conservation of energy. Another possibility is the modified Newtonian dynamics theory, which suggests that changes to the laws of gravity can explain the behavior of galaxies on large scales without the need to assume the dominant role of dark matter. There is also the theory of cyclic universes, which claims that space undergoes repeating periods of expansion and contraction, each beginning with a new Big Bang. It is important to remember that all of these alternative theories have not been confirmed by observations and empirical data to the same extent as the Big Bang idea. 
which is why it remains the leading theory in the field of cosmology. Research can put an end to disputes if the results are interpreted impartially and all information obtained is taken into account. The James Webb Space Telescope conducts a series of observations related to the Big Bang Theory. For example, number 1. Study of the first stars and galaxies. JWST can observe distant objects that formed in the early stages of the universe. If these areas of space have properties that are incompatible with the Big Bang Theory, errors and hypotheses can be claimed. Number 2. Study of cosmic background radiation. If observations show that radiation has a different form or distribution, this may indicate the need to adjust the existing theory. Number 3. Study of dark energy. JWST helps to learn more about this component of the universe, responsible for its accelerated expansion. The results of observations may confirm that dark energy indeed exists, which corresponds to the Big Bang theory, or indicate its fallacy. Knowing the potential of the Webb telescope, supporters of alternative theories began interpreting the first images in their favor. A large number of atypical objects, the need to explain their existence and the constant checking of data to confirm or deny the Big Bang's absence in the history of the cosmos, caused tension among cosmologists. Alison Kirkpatrick wrote about this in her article. One of the telescope's observations is that the distant galaxies it detected may be more massive than previously thought, and much more structured. The excitement during the period of reworking modern galaxy models was expressed in the quote we mentioned at the very beginning. It is this quote that opponents of the Big Bang Theory attributed to. I saw their article and thought, this is awful, but it's still nonsense that no one will read, recalls Kirkpatrick. In the next minute, everyone is already reading it. The author of the material, published by the unlicensed Institute of Art and Ideas, is a science researcher and popularizer Eric Lerner, who has been publishing materials denying the Big Bang Theory since the late 1980s. Instead, he offers readers his personal alternative, built on the omission of some data. In 1991, the scientist published a book called The Big Bang Never Happened, which gained a large readership and caused some commotion in the scientific community. It seemed like just a lone voice crying out in the wilderness. But in May 2004, the New Scientist magazine published an open letter to the scientific community, signed by 35 astrophysicists and physicists, which claimed that the Big Bang Theory had not been proven and that its predictions were refuted by astronomical data. Since then, over 200 more astronomers and physicists have joined this theory. In the article from the Institute of Arts and Ideas, Eric Lerner writes about the images from the Webb telescope. These too small, too smooth, too old, and too numerous galaxies are completely incompatible with the hypothesis of the Big Bang. The galaxies shown by the JWST are the same size as galaxies near us. According to the Big Bang theory, the objects that formed shortly after the birth of the universe should remain in a rudimentary state, but they are almost indistinguishable from modern ones. This can lead to an unpleasant conclusion. The universe has never arisen. It is eternal and unchanging. This conclusion contradicts practically everything we know about the universe, but a number of researchers, including Dr. Lerner, lean towards it in the hope that someday in the distant future all these contradictions will be resolved. Theologians express another theory, believing in the simultaneous creation of the universe. Even the most ardent opponents of the Big Bang Theory are skeptical of this opinion. In turn, Alison Kirkpatrick explains that the galaxies in the young universe in the James Webb images actually look significantly more primitive than modern ones. In this respect, they fully confirm the Big Bang Theory. Her surprise is explained by the expectation that they will be even smaller and simpler. According to scientists, ancient galaxies are still forming from individual gas clouds, and star formation processes are only just beginning. James Webb's observations show structured star systems, small and primitive. Contrary to Lerner's assurances, the James Webb telescope did not refute the Big Bang theory. From the standpoint of the vast majority of scientists, the discrepancy between expectations and data obtained is not evidence of the theory's fallacy. It is indeed supported by a large amount of observation and evidence, from the microwave background to redshift, 
Scientists understand that certain processes occurred right after the Big Bang in the early universe that they have not yet taken into account. In the future, the same JWST may provide new data to improve our understanding of the early universe, to study the still inadequately disclosed influence of dark matter and energy on the development of cosmic space. This is what sets science apart from pseudoscience. Cosmologists take into account the entire array of facts, so large scientific theories are almost never completely excluded. They are often refined and supplemented. Figures like Eric Lerner put forward sensational theories regarding every disputed fact without concern for how it fits with what they said in the past.